In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to import Illustrator file into Blender. Here is Illustrator file. I'm gonna open it. Yes. These all are tattoos. I'm gonna take this Illustrator file. These all are vector file. I'm gonna uh, take a new page file new. A4 size page doesn't matter what's the page size press ok now I'm gonna take this edit copy and go to new page edit and paste I'm gonna scale it I think here is two layer I'm gonna delete extra layer and group it here is the black layer i don't need it so delete it okay i'm gonna take this vector file into blender so i have to go file save as i'm gonna save it in svg file here is svg name it it's a dragon tattoo so I'm gonna name it dragon save now uh, you don't need to change this okay now minimize it here is our SVG file now I'm gonna open blender file it's blender I'm gonna delete this box by pressing delete. I'm gonna change the mode cycle render. Press 7 from top view and 5. Now I'm gonna import this as VG file. File import as VG. If you don't uh, don't see this SVG formatting import option you have to go file and user preference and go to add-on and type SVG you see I have already checked it so I can see the SVG import file you have to check it and save user setting now file import SVG file I had saved in desktop so there is the dragon svg file so click it and import svg uh, it's so small so i couldn't see that here is our svg file the dragon file i'm gonna select all press b and select this it's not in center origin not in center so I'm gonna origin it by press ctrl shift alter C now origin to 3d no I'm gonna do this origin to geometry okay now I am gonna put this in this 3d cursor press shift s and uh, selection to cursor no 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 I have to join this first it's all i'm seeing this it's all a curve it's all is curve i'm gonna convert it it mesh so select all and press alt c and mesh on curve now let's see <coughs> so is mesh now I'm gonna join it B and select all Control J for join it now my dragon is joined together There's many vector is here so maybe here is a double vector so I'm gonna select all by pressing 
Okay. And remove doubles. Here is the double is 4544. So extra vertex are gone. Now I'm gonna join it. Oh, it's already joined. I have to take it in 3D cursor. So shift S and selection to cursor. Okay. It's in geometry center. Here is geometry. Here is to center. Yes. And I'm gonna scale it. I'm pressing S. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna extrude it. Press E in Z axis. Z axis. One is it. Yes, I'm gonna save it. Dragon. Okay. So shift A and press plane. Make it larger. Press S and X axis. Press zero for camera look. Let's see how it looks. No. I'm gonna give some texture and explain. Choosing this wood texture. Now, see, I didn't unwrap this wood texture, I have to unwrap it. Go to UV unwrap. Press 7. Go to edit mode. Press tab, press U, U, and press project from view. Now I have to scale it here, scale it here, oh, enough. You can see here is our texture. I'm gonna lighten it. This plan. This one has R for rotate, scale for axis. I'm gonna make it light so the material emission. I'm gonna change my camera view from here. Then a camera view. Yes. Okay. I want to see render view from here. Yes. Increase the strength more and now I'm gonna material this old go to no editor. Glossy, make sure Okay, now I have to bump this a little. for 
Bum bum. this value one two that one two is good modifying the light rendering I'm gonna back to you our render is complete makes look much pretty you can make many design or make 3d logo by using this technique if you like this tutorial please subscribe our channel thank you for watching